so hello and welcome back guys today we have a very very interesting mocker for you all this is a wedding dress as you can see by its structure and the look today we will do the mock-up on this dress before that let me remind you that uh, the PSD file of these mock-ups will be available in the description just click on the link and you'll be able to download the PSD file for free okay now let's start it first take the paint tool now make sure after taking the paint tool click on the change the path into shape and now we will zoom in and select the whole dress now see as i'm doing it it's very simple and we have done it so many of times let's just observe now leaving the curve areas just make sure you select just create the point you know then later we will add the curves also the brand line that is the thing that it's like very gradually just create the points leave the curves we will worry about them later if you are new to new here i'm explaining this for you but people who watch my videos regularly just knows the drill now decrease the opacity so that you can see it clearly this is a very crucial part now watch very carefully the more fine tuning you perform the more good it will look the better it will look so now take the add anchor point tool and the curves that we missed in the previous layer while we are doing it with the paint tool we will just make it and from the keyboard also this time we can control it from the right left uh, upper and lower arrows we can just shift the press control and adjust the curves make sure the curves are very very prominent make sure that no part is excess or less the tight selection you make the tighter selection it is the better it is is this is any request this thing is inside we got in the parts that are miss being missed you need to curve them and bring them outwards sometimes you need to bring them inwards just make sure that the things are pretty symmetrical make as many points as you want it's no problem now see the curve is there just make sure the curve is nice now in the places that are left just press uh just add the button and adjust the position of the point with the keyboard now there will be a uh, let me tell you something that there will be a link of our uh, instagram handle you can just follow us there too in the instagram account we will be posting about uh, our daily updates and what were the next videos that are coming up and everything and he just if you want the premium quality uh, accesses then you have to join our patreon family 
there you can uh, download each and every PhD file of all the mockups that has been done on this channel and even when the video is upcoming the video is not published yet you can get that mockup from there too just make sure you join our patreon family these are the ways that you can help a youtuber so try your best this is a very small amount also you can directly contact me from that family so if you have any queries any requests anything you can drop there or here comment here i will be keeping an eye out for it as you can see i'm making the curve make sure the curves are very very fine i'm telling you again and again the better tuning you do the better the picture gets As we have done one side, the other side we will do just do it in fast forward manner. So as you can see, make sure the curves are nice and okay. These are the very crucial parts. The line has to be perfect or else it might affect you and your product So as you can see, we have selected the whole dress. Now we will move on to the next step. Now first of all, we will make the dress in white. Because that is the most commonly worn color for weddings. First, take the rectangle where we will make the smart object. Just change the color just so it is visible for us to look at. Now, right click on this and convert to smile object and then decrease the opacity just so you can see it. Then again, right click right and select the option dissolve and then adjust the corners. So as you can see. Then after you are done, just select wrap and then the corners and will be adjusted. Imam, we have taken a grid and now we will decrease the size. We will bring the mock-up, the effect of the mock-up just like the pant is there with no mock-up like it will be so it has to be realistic okay for that we have to create the smart object just as the dress is as your object is every curve and everything has to be tight and neat you can adjust your curves and everything as you want
This is a very, very important project. We do not mess with it. So as you can see the it was in the beginning was a rectangle but we have created in this shape of the dress. This is a very very crucial part. You have to observe it very well. If you want you can zoom in the screen and see the details. You now press control and shape layer. So just so there are no extra parts uh, in the smart object okay we just mask the smart object with the dress now we will switch off the step shape and then we will rename it that is dress now on the rectangle we will drag and drop for design that i have already selected You know, again, press Ctrl T and adjust the sizes. Make sure take some food that um, make sure you use the correct pattern that is seamless, and uh, make sure there aren't very stretched and everything. If needed, create it into parts and then use it after you are done then save it so as you can see the smart object is updated to the main picture now again we will press ctrl and press on the mask so as you can see the selection is there and then from the main background layer press ctrl G and make a copy and then from there make sure the saturation is in the zero equal to zero because then only the dress will be said uh, x pure white then make two more copies of that shape that outline and we will name them as light pattern and shadow and after that further that now three of these layers will be in a group and we will name it as fx then first take the shadow layer and from convert into linear bond and then as you can see if you switch off and switch on the layer you will understand the difference then take my tool and then from normal convert it to linear dot z and go to adjustments and adjust the bars and uh, lines and you will apply a very little light here Look how I am doing it. And so as you can see the light parts are there. The focus points. Now those are highlighted in here. You have to. And then from light select screen and then adjust the layers and everything. After you are you are satisfied with your work so as you can see i am here doing a little bit more edits because i am never satisfied i always strive to make it better so that's it for today if you want to continue you can if you want to keep it here keep it here and if you have liked what you have seen and heard please make sure to click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon just so you get notified if still we count of thank you for watching